Okay, so let's solve another problem. As of December 31, 2012, the books of Vicky, Garcia, and Kabe partnership showed capital balances of Vicky 40,000, Garcia 25,000, Kabe 5,000. The partner's profit and loss ratio was 3 to 2 is to 1 respectively. The partners decided to dissolve and liquidate. They sold all the non-cash assets for 37,000 cash. After settlement of all the liabilities amounting to 12,000, they still have 28,000 cash left for distribution. How much is the loss on realization of the non-cash asset? Ayan, it will work back mana naman. Squeeze in procedure na naman tayo. So, i-map na natin uli sa ating pro forma ng statement of liquidation. Vicky Garcia. Ayusin ko lang to guys. Okay. And then... Nan cash asset liabilities. Ayan. Fifill upan muna natin. Forty capital ni Vicky Garcia si Garcia twenty five kay Kabe five thousand ang nawawala bali yung loss so dito sa linya na to <laughs> Three is to two is to one. Three is to two is to one. So six over six. They sold all the non-cash for twenty-seven thousand cash. So my add ng thirty-seven thousand cash. Missing yung figure ng non-cash asset. After settlement, after settlement of eleven of all liabilities amounting to 12,000 so 12,000 ang liabilities sa linya ng payment of liabilities so minus 12,000 sa cash they still have 28,000 cash left for distribution they still have 28,000 cash left for distribution. So, 28,000 cash left for distribution. 28. Mali. Dapat 28 ito. Itong cell C16. Dapat siya maging 28. So, plus 3,000. Ayun. So, cash beginning is 3,000. So, 28 na ito. So, yung nang cash asset, makukuha na natin siya kasi assets is equals to Liabilities plus equity. Given naman yung liabilities and equity. So, kunin natin ang sum. Open parenthesis. Liabilities na 12 plus capital ng tatlo. Ilalas natin yung 
cash balance na 82,000 82,000 so ang book value ng non-cash non asset ay 79 so ang loss ay 79 minus 37 loss 79 minus 37 42,000 diba forty two thousand which is it is distribute natin sa partners times three over six for Vicky for Garcy two over six for Kabe palitan lang natin yung fraction niya ng 1 over 6 ok, so dapat negative siya copy paste paste as values para wala yung formula input ang negative sign Ay. input ang negative sign ayan so, nag-negative, may capital deficiency. May capital deficiency si Kabe. I-absorb siya nung, wala naman tayong data kung solvent pa siya or insolvent. So, i-assume na natin na insolvent siya para i-absorb ni Vicky and Garcy. I-allocate siya ngayon gamit din ang ratio. 3 is to 2. So, 2,000 times 3 over 5. Si Garcy, 2 over 5. Yan. Gagawin natin negative sign. So, negative negative 2,000 dadali natin kay Kabi Capital absorption of loss absorption of Kabi Capital Deficiency by Vic and Garcy Huwag na siya mahaba Balance is ulit Okay So, ito na yung Settlement 17,800 kay Vicky 10,000 10, mali ito 10,200 para kay Garcy yan so ito yan Minus seventeen eight hundred ten two hundred. There you go. Balance. Eh. So, ito ang nawawala yung forty two thousand loss on realization. Okay, guys.